this is sad and I'm, I'm looking at this and uh, the timber, I mean, it, I don't know, it's just sad. It's going to be great. Eugene will be known for this for the next hundred years. We came to the conclusion, which I had then and I have to this day, it was really not econ economical to patch that thing together. You would not find an economic man anywhere who would donate to keep that as part of a Hayward Field that you wanted for the World Championship. And I'm sure, I'm sure one thing, when those bulldozers on July knock that East Grandstand down, I am the most reviled man in Eugene. <laughs> it's sort of unimaginable that, um, that because of uh, Nike's pressure, the University of Oregon is allowing it to, uh, to be demolished, which is in process right now. This one was built in 1925, and it was under the tutorship of uh, uh, William Hayward, who was the first track coach here at the University of Oregon. So the stadium has been here through the whole track and field program, and it was designed by Fuller Lawrence, who designed many of the buildings that were on the uh, University of Oregon campus. So th the stadium would pass any test to go on the National Register of Historic Places and I don't know why people keep saying that it doesn't stand up to that test because it does. I get a miss just being able to walk by because I work right here and just look in and see all the activity. Um, it's, it's a shame 